The message is for Christ died for sins once and for all. He died for you. His death was caused by your sin. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, Wash it for Christ died for sins once and for all. The righteous for the unrighteous to bring it to God. You were put in death in the body, but made alive by the Spirit. Cry that for your sins, my dear friends. I want you to know that, that cry that for your sins. The righteous that is us, the unrighteous that we. What you have to die is to bring you back to God. Because of your sins, that's why Christ died. The reason why we die, we die because of sin. Sometimes, we just share when we get toys and die. Sometimes, parents with their children and die. Sometimes, young people will die. We die because of sin. And because of that sin, Christ came and died for your sin. When you believe in Christ, He will save you from your sins. So today, I want to invite Jesus Christ into your life. Number one, Christ died for you. Christ died for you. I cannot emphasize this enough. Christ died for your sins. Jesus died is both good news and bad news. Bad news because in a sense, only sinless person ever had to die for you and me. In Jesus, he would have no sin. Die for those who live in sin. Can you consider that? Jesus Christ, no sin. And yet, he died for your sin and for my sin. Why? So that you can receive forgiveness of sins. So that you can know God. So that he can bring you back to God. That's why Christ died for our sins. We are sinners. But as the good news, when you believe in him, your sins are forgiven. Your present sin, your past sin, and your future sin will be wiped away. Clean slate. And that's why you must invite Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. The Bible tells us we ask on the blood, there is no remission of sins. Without Jesus that died on the cross, your sin remains. I thank God that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And through the precious blood, we can receive forgiveness of sins. And that is the mercy of God. That is the grace of God. That Christ Jesus died for our sins. God bless you, man. Your phone is more important than your life. Hallelujah. So today, if you don't know Jesus, if I know him, simply invite Jesus Christ into your life. Number one, as your Lord. Number two, as a Savior. If you want to invite Jesus Christ as a Savior, make a prayer like this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I pray that I'm a sinner. I believe that I'm a sinner. I confess my sin before you today. I confess my sin before you today. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord and personal Savior, and my personal Savior, I believe, I believe that you are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. Today, today, help me, help me to live for you. To live for you. In your name, I pray. In your name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And I you, he will serve you for all eternity. Amen. Remember, bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen.